know it really goes towards other areas of our economy. So it's going to be a good one, but let's take a look at the bracket. Let's see what we're going to be going up against next in the future of Racing City Tournament. Yeah, we'll absolutely. In a second. Yeah, absolutely. You know, the Saints, as you said, had a strong performance yesterday. Kind of played uh, maybe, as we said, too aggressive at times yesterday, but playing with confidence is definitely a good thing to see. And the fact that they were able to have such a good start in uh, in both in both maps, get off to an early lead on those attacks. Gonna see if they are able to start attacking first on each map again today. I think uh, attacking for them is definitely the stronger side, and th they can build a lead early. I think that's that's how they're gonna look to win. Yeah, I definitely think attacking really starting attack really helps and really helps set the pace for how the rest of the game is gonna go for them. Um, because <laughs> once I feel like attacking is the harder position, which a lot of people say. But if you can get those early attack rounds in, if you're already warmed up, you already have the momentum going their, your way, the defense just flows a little bit easier, knowing that you don't have to get, you know, a thousand <laughs> or, or 13 yeah. defense rounds in a row. You only have to get a few more defense rounds. It makes you play a lot more comfortably, and you don't feel as stressed out when you're just sitting back and playing defensively. Yeah, absolutely, especially on maps where it's a bit easier to play defense. Obviously, these maps where ha which have three bomb sites, which we see so, so often, are more a bit attack favored, especially in a controlled environment like this level of play. And when five members are attacking a site where there's probably one or two people, it's way easier to take than maybe going to three or four members. So, as you said, Saints definitely want to start off on the attack because when you look up at the score at halftime and you're down like six rounds, it's mentally draining. Like, obviously, yeah. you can come back, but it's just not fun to play when, once you're down that bad. Yeah, not having the action in your hands, right? Because the attacking team gets to pick when the fights happen, gets to pick where they go, where the fights happen, when they happen, and, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you get to get the initial starting picks, really, and open up the, the angles of attack. When you're on defense, you don't really have that luxury. You kind of just uh, have to take the fights when they come to you. Of course, you can prepare, and that gives you an advantage. You can uh, play a little bit more defensively, a little bit more passively, but, you know, I think... The, the Saints really feel a lot more comfortable sitting in that attacking position. Yeah, without a doubt. And I believe we can get the bracket pulled up early. So Missouri were able to uh, win their match up yesterday. Let's take a look where they are. Play against CGS. Oh, they played against Illinois Orange, I believe, yes, on the bottom Illinois there. Illinois Orange, yes. And uh, they're going to be going up against St. Clair Saints. And our academy team, by the way, Yesterday was able to take a couple of victories, one over U of T and another one over U of uh, U Ottawa Garnett. So a good start for them as well in the winter bracket as they look to keep their momentum going. Yeah, St. Clair looking pretty good so far, getting two O's across the board. A lot of the teams winning 2-0 in this first bracket. So going forward, I think we're going to start to see the games get a little bit closer. So maybe we're going to get some predictions for today. I would say maybe a 2-1 against Mizzou, but what do you think? I mean, our Saints are still regarded as one of the best teams in Collegiate Valorant. I think they're still going to take the 2-0 today. It might not be as uh, swift as it <laughs> was yesterday, because obviously, as you said, the longer we get into the tournament, the better teams are going to get and get. But uh, hopefully they can take the 2-0 today. But as, as you said, it's definitely going to be a lot closer the more we watch this tournament. Yes, and we're just getting close to our game right now, so we're going to throw it to a quick break, and we'll be right back with Game 1.
Hello everybody and welcome back. We're just about to start game one, but we did get an update on the map, so I'm here to tell you what this series is about to look like. First, game one is going to be Ascent with St. Clair starting on attack. The second map is going to be Bind with St. Clair also starting on attack. And the third map is going to be Lotus with St. Clair starting on attack. So once again, St. Clair has achieved the three attacking maps. I don't know if they prefer this. I think they're just aiming for it at this point because a lot of people say defense is the easier way to play the game. So maybe St. Clair is just trying to really perfect this attack and then fall back on defense once they have the lead. Yeah, they definitely want to get off to a hot start and start out swinging. We all know pistol rounds are their kryptonite. <laughs> it's definitely something <laughs> they're going to be working on. But it, we saw if they're able to win that pistol round, they can really snowball with their leads and especially when they get their weapons the flow buys that's when they become really deadly with those vandals and phantoms they just pick apart their position so well yeah especially when an enemy team thinks they can get a scrappy you know light shield buy that's when it really shines the saint skills they really punish any enemy that doesn't meet them at full capacity you have to be meeting them exactly at their buys or exceeding their buys or else you're just gonna have a rough time getting through them yeah and saints are always capable of pulling off thrifties with such great mechanics and team play even when they buy sheriffs they cannot be overlooked and we saw that a couple of times yesterday they lost the pistol round and then they came back around later to take it back and then they just get such a big economical advantage so i wonder how things are going to play out and I want to see them get off to a very hot start today. Yeah, so we're starting off on Ascent, which was, I believe, a very, very strong map for the Saints yesterday against the Carlton Ravens. So it should, in theory, go very well with them. They are just coming off of playing that map yesterday. So I would say they have a very good shot at taking a strong lead. I don't know what maps Mizzo played on yesterday, but it's likely Ascent was in there somewhere. Yeah, Ascent, one of the more popular maps. And as we saw yesterday, a couple of new agents may be coming into the uh, meta. We saw Sova coming out on both maps <laughs> for the Saints as uh, the Sky Prio maybe has dropped a little bit after the nerf. So uh, interesting what we're going to see today for the draft. I think both teams are going to keep it pretty standard and have a pretty, pretty basic uh, starting lineup. Yeah, I wonder if we're going to see the Outlaw as well. That's now yeah, legal yeah. to play. But hey, let's see the starting lineup here as we get into game one. Seeing Smiley on the KO. Instinct going on the Sova. Giza going for the Cypher, which is an interesting yeah. pick if he chooses to lock that in. Okay. We have Seth on Omen. Caillou once again going for the Jet. He's <laughs> he's having a good few days, so hopefully he's going to carry that mojo into this game. But anyways, on the side of University of Missouri, we have Piggy on KO. Panda on Omen. Zella on, I believe, that, yeah, Zella on Jet, Happy Rabbit 47 on Sova, and that last name I can't quite see, but that's going to be a Killjoy, I'm sure we'll see their name soon enough. And it looks like Giza is going to go for that Killjoy, I would guess, over the Cypher. We saw uh, Giza get four knife kills in yesterday's series, able to sneak up behind <laughs> his opponents and just able to hold down his sight by himself on defense on that Killjoy. So I think Killjoy is definitely a better pick on this map. Could both affect the game on attack and defense. As for Cypher on attack, can't really get too much done on this map. Just not really enough utility to do anything. Yeah, definitely. And I believe the reason why KO and Killjoy are just such good picks on this map is because of how small it is. Like the lockdown reaches the, like the entire site and a few angles of approach from the site as well. It really just flushes out the entire site. And KO pretty much locks down an entire site with his ult as well. So both very, very strong champs, very geared towards the small compact size of Ascent. But yep, the last person is going to be Paragon, I believe. Yes. So... Load in here. I'm excited to see what how pistol's gonna go. Maybe the Saints have been practicing it. Maybe, Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe I think we're gonna see Caillou buy that sheriff. He likes to do that in the first round. And uh, let's see how they decide to play this one. It's gonna be Saints on the attack, as you mentioned, on every single map. As uh, what do you think? What do you think they should push for the first round? You know, we saw this map yesterday. We saw how they played it yesterday. What do you think we'll see from them today on this map? It's just looking like a straightforward B push with, they're going to put the Omen kind of 
on A to get any stragglers, but I think the B push is solid. It's short, it's sweet. You really want to push this one on pistol because it's just a little bit too hard to do once you have the longer range rifles. But when you just want to rush something down, going mid or B like it looks like they're gearing up to do is just a fantastic choice. And it looks like they're going to opt for a mid push. Yeah. And they're just clearing out A. There's the arrow, scanning out mid. It's clear. Looks like Kai is going to be the first one to approach. They're looking to go for A from mid, it looks like. Clearing out mid, going into the trees area here. He's uh, approaching, taking it slow and careful, getting an alt orb. That's going to be a nice early lead there. But ooh, looks like Zella gets the first pick on Seth there on A short. Seth's going to be going down, and the other four members of the Saints are going to get smoked out by the enemy. Omen, but let's see how the push looks through here. Caillou is going to look to make his way into this heaven. Inkstain's going to be able to find a pick onto the jet. Caillou's going to do a lot of damage to Piggy there, but we will be going down. Inkstain's around this corner. Piggy finding a second onto Smiley there, finding a couple crucial kills in this round. Should be very hard for the Saints to win. Inkstain's going to take a bit of damage there. Shock Dart should take half HP of Panda down. Let's see if he can pick up this kill. Inkstain's going to hide around the corners. Giza finds the swing there. 3v2 situation, still very, very winnable for St. Clair. That KO is on 1 HP. Let's see how they decide to play this one. And the spike, I believe, is Inkstain is going to find another one onto Paragon. To be the situation, is Giza's going to find Happy Rabbit. It's going to be this KO who's on 1 HP in the 1v2 situation. Spike is here, 20 seconds left. Let's see how they decide to play this one. As Inkstain is going to find his third kill of the round. And St. Clair are going to be able to pick up the first pistol round after a bit of a nice 2v4 clutch from Giza and Inkstain there. Pretty clean pistol round from the Saints. A little bit unexpected, but it's great to see. And Instinct is looking to reclaim that duelist position, it looks like, <laughs> from from Gaiu, <laughs> making a great initial showing today. Now, it looks like they're mainly picking up Vandals, I believe. I saw a few of them pick up the Vandals here. And on the side of Missouri, I'm not seeing any guns they're opting for pistols once again. A few sheriffs. But uh, it's, it's going to be a rough round for them if the Saints know how to play the range here. Yeah, if the Saints can take this round without dropping any of their members, it would be a very, very good round for them. Piggy is peeking over here with this KO as Giza is going to be able to push in, push in here. Won't be able to find the shots just yet. Nice little headshot there onto the KO. Should be able to pick up this ult orb as B is all cleared out, but the rest of the Saints are making their way over to A again. It is the side of Missouri R4 stacking this A side, so the Saints have to be very, very careful here. Can't get too aggressive. Caillou is going to spot out one, but will be going down very very early as the Saints might look wanted to back out here and make their way onto the B side. It has been droned out by Inkstain and Giza as Exo is going to pick up that Guardian. She's going to drop the Sheriff for one of his teammates, but Saints are going to make their way over to that B side, which is completely clear. They should get this plant down and should be able to hold it down. Yeah, but giving this Jetta Guardian is going to be an awful choice right now as they do find another pick with it. Taking out Seth. They are going to get the plant down, but that's another gun going over to Mizzo. Saints are in a little bit of a rough spot right now. They do have the gun advantage handle against all that, but they don't have the player advantage there as another gun goes over to Mizzo. Now all of the players are nearly armed. I believe one is stuck with Mizzo. Yeah, and the push is going to come through from Paragon here and the rest of the squad. They're just stacked on top of each other. Smiley's going to be able to pick up one, but Happy Hour's going to find one. Giza's going to pick one up. Will go down as well as University of Missouri are going to pick up the Thrifty in the second round. And they're going to put themselves in a great advantage here as they look to snowball this, uh, these guns that they're going to have for at least a couple rounds. Saints are going to have no money considering they full bought that round as Missouri really fighting back with some firepower there. A couple of early picks really let them entry that site with relative ease and they were just able to find the good trades. St. Clair definitely in a bit of a rough spot here as Missouri look to, look to stack up some rounds here on defense. Yeah, they're just stacking rounds right now and it's it's looking to be a lot closer of a game so far. St. Clair usually doesn't have this happen to them. Usually if they win Pistol, they kind of start steamrolling. But wow, and Odin out of the gate is going to do a lot of damage. And two picks from Mizzo out of the gate. That's going to be a major wrench into any of the Saints' plans right now. Now he's going to get a nice flank. Doesn't get any kills out of it. He also falls. Oh and four goodness. of them are going to fall. Three of them are going to fall just to the Odin. And four of them are down now, all down. The instinct yeah, here, yeah. who just has, I believe, a sheriff and a prayer. 
not much else to live for here. Yeah, the peaks will come out mid, but instinct in that 1v5 will go down a flawless round for University of Missouri. As they're going to be able to maintain all the weapons they just bought, but it's going to be Saints who uh, kind of conceded that round, got picked off very, very early, couldn't find any kills themselves. But the buys will come through for St. Clair, Phantoms and Vandals all across the board. This is the most crucial round of the game so far because if Saints are able to take this one, might start to string a couple rounds together. But if Missouri win this one, they're going to be taking a nice little lead to start right. off this first map. Yeah, I'd have to agree with you there. It's going to be a very dec decisive round here as the Saints lose this one, it's going to start just slipping away from them. They're going to have to really respect Mizzou's position a lot more than they're used to. Uh, as we've already seen for them. We have Paragon pushing up, holding the close corner. Happy Rabbit just holding back. He hears all the footsteps. He knows he can't take them all. Nice trade coming out. And he gets, almost gets one through the smoke. And he does. Comes out with two HP. <laughs> That's so low there. Happy Rabbit must be happy getting out there. The plant's going to go down from Saif. We're going to see the Sova ult come out. He doesn't find one. He might see a few, but he doesn't get any kills out of it. Now Zella's trying to take some ground back, covering the angles. But Caillou and Smiley get two nice kills. Pinky going to get one right back, though. The flash comes out. Happy Rabbit still two HP. It's a 1v2 situation for Seth. He has a lot of work cut out for him, but he gets killed by Piggy. That's going to be the third round for the University of Missouri. Great round there from University of Missouri as they played the retake perfectly. Happy Rabbit, uh, the fact that he didn't fall there and was able to find that kill kind of started the retake for them as the KO just came in, picked up a couple kills, got the last one there. Saints now have no money and will be dropping this round as well unless they choose to force it up, uh, which is something they are definitely capable of. They do have the mechanical skill to pull it off, but University of Missouri so far are playing this map very, very well, finding their picks when they need to, and just playing as close to flawless as you can. And uh, I think Saints are in for a tough series if this is how Missouri are going to be playing. Exactly. They are going to have a really rough time here. Looks like they're just going to try and pull send it A right now. As you can see, all the smokes come out, but the KO knife's really going to slow them down here. Panda holding mid, gets a nice kill on Caillou. Jesus trying to clear out trees. They drop down door. It's flying right now. I'm seeing shots. That is a uh, Marshall, I believe. That could be the outlaw. Yeah. But either way, that's going to be a sniper you don't want to mess with when you're low on shields. They can get the back out right now. Location is revealed. And just to get out unscathed. Smiley trying to get the plant down. I don't believe they have the plant down. No, they Seth do. It's a nice do. kill. Nice. They do have plant down. Yes, you're right. Seth is going to get a kill. So he get, gets a nice off shot, and now Paragon gets a kill as well. They're all falling down. Oh, great, great kill by Giza with the Sheriff, but he has to try and stop the defuse as soon as he can. Oh. Just barely misses the shot. He gets it. He gets oh, two. He's three kills right now. He just has to play for time right now. He, but he doesn't know it's half. He goes for the peak. He's trying to sell out right now, and he gets the kill oh, the and clutches it out. <laughs> what a round. What a round from Giza there. On the thrifty, the Saints are able to get it. And wow, what a retake there. Giza just on absolute fire with the uh, the Sheriff, sorry. Finding one, the second, the third, and playing the time so, so perfectly. And uh, just great play from him all around. That's going to definitely put St. Clair back into this map as they're going to be able to pick up some weapons but it's going to be Missouri still on the full buy they still have that operator yet again Odin as well on that Sova so it's going to be an, another important round here but four ultimates ready for the side of the Saints exactly four ultimates if they play this right if they choose to invest these ultimates here they could really change the tides of the game right now Zella with the op is so so scary if anybody pushes this B site it's just uh -oh. what they'll do for them he has a feeling there's an op there he goes for the peak he's trying to bait out the shot but the trigger discipline from Zella really pays off here yeah I don't know if he was spotted out probably was right I would assume so so Saints are going to know that there's an op on this side, but they're still going to choose to maybe push into this one. I don't know if that's the best decision here, but let's see how they decide to play. They do have four ultimates. The Sova drone's going to come out. We'll get taken down really, really quickly. The Killjoy ultimate's going to come out. Is there any dis one who can destroy from University of Missouri? Doesn't look like so. Saints are going to get a lot of room here. Omen ult into the back of B side is amazing. Zella trying to find some shots to smoke there. Won't be able to get it. Taking down to 42 HP. As 
as it's going to be a uh, plant coming down from the Saints here pretty, pretty early. Smiley going to get that one down, but Caillou falls down in mid. Two Paragon 4v5 situation as it's going to be Saints on the defense. Sova Ultimate is coming out. And let's see if he can find anyone with that as Panda finds Seth on the push. Giza is still holding his crossfire. Still a good amount of time for Missouri to work with this. Giza know there's one on the flank. And oh my goodness, what a flick there on 2 HP. He's able to survive, but goes down to high period. Have a 2v4 situation now for the Saints. Let's see if Smiley can pick up this kill. To pick here, yes, he'll be able to find it in a great position. Smiley is. He's going to be able to find a second, but Panda finding his third of the round. The trades come out beautifully as the University of Missouri are going to be able to take a 4 2 lead. Yeah, Saints are not going to be able to win a war of tr attrition here as at Missouri is just just um, doing an amazing job at holding it down, getting every single trade, every single time. They come out on top. And I just have to say props to them as St. Clair is just an absolute force to be reckoned with right now. Once they're in the lead, they, they, go, they won the pistol round surprisingly, but they let it slip away from them. And Missouri has just held that lead consistently ever since they've you. gotten it. Right now, Saints once again just have to go for a little bit of a of a thrifty round, just investing in sheriffs. Knives gonna are gonna come out once again. The knives are gonna come out from Caillou, so it's gonna be all on him to really carry the the load of this around. Let's see if he can find a couple entry picks here. As he's gonna be dashing in, can he find the KO? Oh, whipping some important shots there, Caillou. Unfortunate for him. Yesterday he was landing that on the head, but. Today, just whiffing there, unfortunately. Let's see if Saints can do anything else on this attack now. Their kind of main source of firepower has gone down, as it's going to be another pick coming out from Panda. Smiley going down. University of Missouri have been playing this defense so, so well. As Seth goes down as well. Every time you just look up in the kill feed, Missouri are finding a pick, and they're just playing so well as a team. Saints are able to get their plans down every now and then, but the retake uh, from University of Missouri has been basically perfect so far on this defense. Maybe Inkstein can pull out something crazy here. There's going to be this dart coming out. There's going to be a shot through the wall onto Panda. That's a nice little kill there. Can the Saints do anything else in this 2v4? Drone will come out. The plan should be going down and that should be uh, maybe a bit of a start for the Saints, but we saw how good University of Missouri are at retaking these sites. Right now, it looks like Instinct's debating, challenging it off with the Sheriff. Hey. Really taking it slow, hoping somebody peeks them. That's what they're trying, they're trying to get them. Oh! That one he gets the shot, though. Oh my That's two! Goodness. He's looking for three right now. 2v2. Two two. It's a 2v2, two two, just like that. Instinct leveling the playing field in two clean shots. Gonna peek and oh. misses one more. And now. Oh, oh my goodness, one. one. There it is. He's looking he for is. the ace right now. Ace with the sheriff. Let's see it against the team. <laughs> He's gonna oh run around. He gets it! What oh a shot! God. Getting the ace at the last second. Some absolute heroics coming out from the Saints. That's two thrifty rounds now where it's just been the sheriffs coming out clutch and instinct definitely back in uh, these Maybe he thinks he's playing Jet or something on the Sova, just popping off. Yesterday we saw Caillou on the Sova in the first map, drop 28 kills. Now we're seeing Instinct on pace to maybe do the same. A nice ace there coming out from him as St. Clair definitely needed that one badly. That's going to sting if you're a fan of University of Missouri as now they can't afford any weapons and they're going to be forced to save up here. But the knives are going to come out, I believe, from the jet there as let's see if maybe the opposition can find some shots here early in mid yeah it looks like they're gonna flood mid try and take some early fights as they know but they don't really have the firepower to get an amazing win this round they're just gonna try the big gambits here and see if they pay off so pushing up slowly but surely on b smoke goes up he's shocked during it out very very low just spraying down the smoke like he knows it's not clear though. He did everything he could to clear it out. Yeah. But he still has a sneaking sixth sense that someone is there lurking. He's right. Then Silva is pushing up closer to that corner. It's not looking good. The alarm bot goes down. They call it back. And now they're going to rotate over. That Silva's kind of stuck there until the Killjoy gets out of range. Right now the positions are very close corners for University of Missouri. Holding every tight corner. Every sneaky spot they can muster, they are there. 
there's a knife going uh -oh. out. That's gonna suppress the knives. That's the main weapon going down for Ze Zella there. Kai gonna drop the door down and break it. And Instinct getting a nice first pick there on the knives. That's an ult down. Kai getting another pick. And Smiley getting a pick as well. And it's all the way down to one for Mizo Esports. Yeah, Happy Rabbit's gonna be the last one alive here. And on the save around St. Clair, are able to capitalize and have a nice little five for one round. They get onto that ace head, played very, very slowly. They didn't want to push through that Sova just in case, you know, there's, he has a judge or something. Don't want to just get blown up and throw away a round that you worked so hard for beforehand. And now, Saints put themselves in a great position here. It's going to be uh, by coming up from Missouri, but they can't really afford full shields. So a bit of an economical advantage still here for the Saints, but it's going to be Fazella pulling out that operator yet again, as that's a weapon that he's really going to look to do damage with. St. Clair have to be dangerous when peeking through this mid, especially with Jet there, but it's going to be a challenge onto A. Let's see if Zella can find an opening frag here on this Jet. Anyone who swings will be in great, great danger, but it's going to be Seth using his teammate kind of a little bit as Bait going to swing out and find Zella early. That's a huge pickup for the side of the Saints as they should look to pick up the spike and make their way over onto this A site. I don't think Zella heard the TP into the corner. That was a nice little sneaky pick there. Now the Saints are up a pick, but they need to try and make something of it right now. They're kind of split up right now. So they're going to try and reconvene the mid, take some mid control, and then probably full send it A. Seth laying cover down some smokes, out. laying down some cover for the team. Seth just holding down that A, hoping to get any flank picks right now. Making sure the team doesn't right get here. snuck up on. Looks like Instinct and Caillou are leading the charge into trees right now. There's the arrow. Panda in the corner, waiting for it, finds the pick. He's going to try and find one, two, but he gets shut down by Instinct. Spike's going to go over. All oh, picky. There's a big pick. He's going to find one in heaven as well. But it's not going to be enough. He just barely gets out with his life, but he's half HP. There, the spike is down. Seth is going to lay down some more smokes here. One enemy remaining, it's just the weak Sova here. Looks like he's just sneaking up for a knife kill again, but gets taken out by Happy Rabbit. Instinct going for the right clicks, just trying to get any damage oh, onto 1v1. him. That's a 1v1, he's getting a little risky here. I would reload my gun if I was Instinct. Yeah, Instinct standing ahead. Past. Can, doesn't have time to reload. Has to find the kill with the pistol here, as it's going to be St. Clair. Just throwing that round away completely. They definitely won't be happy with themselves after that one. Happy Rabbit, though, finding a 1v3. Saints definitely letting their Eagles get the best of them, taking the challenges one by one for some reason, and just not playing a good fundamental variant. If they didn't have a couple insane clutches coming out from a couple of players like Instinct and Giza on, with those Sheriff save rounds, this scoreline would be blown wide open. It would be... Just an absolute stomp. So Saints really need to get their composure together. And I think that's why the timeout's coming out. They're playing a bit rational, not playing their best, and definitely getting off to a slow start in the first map. Yeah, definitely. They're playing a little bit too... Like, I know we already talked about playing too aggressive, but they're not taking it a little bit seriously enough, if I had to say uh, one critique of them. But uh, they're playing... They have it in them, like you saw yeah. with the Sheriff clutches. But they, they, they're always playing for clips, it looks like. They're always like, I'm going to be the right. guy who's going to go in there, solo the entire team, rather right. than playing as a complete squad, as a complete team there. Because they could have just sat back and taken the 3v1 fight, but they all just kind of funneled in. Oh, I could take this guy. Oh, I can take this guy. And, oh, I'll clutch it up. I'll clutch the 1v1. And even going for the right clicks with the Sheriff, he could have reloaded his gun in the time when his teammates went to push, but he chose to try and get the cheeky right click, but it didn't pay off. And uh, that's you could, the scoreline shows those those <laughs> a little bit too risky plays going on. Yeah, and it's going to be the Saints it's still going to be able to afford a full buy because uh, they were able to win a couple rounds together. But if they won that round, they would have really put University of Missouri in a bit of a hole. Uh, but unfortunately, we're not able to pick that one up. Let's see how they decide to play this attack. It's going to be a default coming out from the Saints. Because they're going to look to take mid control, something they did a lot yesterday on this map. They just had Caillou walk up mid and. 
find a pick basically every single round. Let's see how they decide to play it now. They have full mid control and they're getting deep into the spawn of University of Missouri. But have to be careful. Nice little flick there from Giz. Able to find one and is going to be able to stay alive. Not falling down to the trade. The Jet is sitting there with the Operator and Giza definitely knows it. You can see him jump peeking. Does not want to peek that corner though. It will be very, very dangerous as Axel is just sitting with no armor, no shields. Just 100 HP. And he's going to not be able to pick up Giza's. Giza's finding the entry picks onto Killjoy here. Paragon is going to pick up one, but it is traded out by Caillou. And this should be full control of this B site. St. Clair are going to be able to make their way over. His instinct falls down in mid as well. Plant will go down for Caillou. Saints have the man advantage yet again. Let's see how they decide to play this retake. Yeah, we've seen the story before. The Saints do get the initial, initial nice B plant. They're going to invest the lockdown. But we'll see. No solo ultimate. University of Missouri will take this back. Yeah, I don't think they're going to go use a Sova ult because they're just that confident going into this fight. Just going to play for things, play it slow, and they're going to lay down some smokes. Now, time is ticking. They have to do something, and they have to do something quick. Happy Rabbit is going in here. Looking around the corner, getting as much info as he can. They're, they're going to opt to save, which is an interesting play, but you might as well. You are up around. You don't want to be down in money. Yeah, I don't think it's a terrible play from Missouri. St. Clair, after the timeout, able to have a very good round off the back of Giza's entry frags through mid there. And St. Clair are going to be able to tie up this game 5-5. Two more rounds left in the half. Let's take a look at the ultimates. Three ultimates on the side of University of Missouri. St. Clair College have a couple ultimates of their own. Seth, one kill away from that Omen ultimate. As Saints are going to look to take the lead here. You can see the buy of Missouri is very, very scuffed. A couple uh, of Vandals, a Phantom, a Sheriff, and a Stinger. And they don't have money for next. So if they lose this round, Saints should be looking in a very, very good position to take a 7-5 lead in the first half. Yeah, if they can swing this around here, it would be very great for the scoreline. So they're going to get flashed out, put the back off here. Now Caillou, trying to just play it slow with the team. Left Spike and Swamp didn't want to let them know where they're going. Zella spraying it down, trying to get any wall bangs that they can. It's not going to amount to much, as they are going to push through mid. Very big stack over on B. So if the Saints go A, this could be a major opportunity for them. Seth taking it slow and careful, pushing up A. He's going to meet the Killjoy. The Killjoy looks away at one second. As soon as he peeks it, oh, he's on. He gets a visual of him, but he manages to get out just in time. Misses the wall shots, but he has an idea of where the Killjoy is at. Yeah, and it's going to be Caillou yet again, walking up mid for free, basically. There's going to be a Sova right around the corner, but has no ideas. It's going to be Saints full pushing onto this B-side. The K ultimate's going to come out. Let's see how the Saints decide to play this one. There are three members from University of Missouri on this B-side, but Inkstein's going to be able to pick up the entry frag onto Piggy. He's going to find a second. Smiley going to find the trade onto the third. As Smiley finds the fourth, Plant should be going down as Inkstein does fall down. But Saints in another 3v1 situation. And it looks like the enemy Killjoy doesn't even think about clutching up this one. Paragon is going to choose to save his Vandal as they, it's, he's going to be the only one with a weapon for his team next round, and it's going to give them a bit of a fighting chance, but St. Clair doing very, very good after the timeout to bring this half back, and they're going to be looking to take the lead into the second half. Yeah, they are in a very good spot here. Paragon, often to save that Vandal, but Saints have been playing much better now that they're taking it a little bit more seriously after that timeout. They really strategized a bit more. They really thought about what they're doing right, what they're doing wrong, and you can tell that they really reflected upon their actions, and they have a much better idea of how to go up against the University of Missouri. Yeah, I mean, they finally have figured out that that mid uh, from Mi uh, University of Missouri has been wide open the entire half. The University of Missouri definitely doing a good job stacking their members on that B-side, they got three members there, but they were just not able to win the gunfight Saints using their man advantage, using that KO ultimate to really break that one open as it's going to be the last round before the swap of sides. St. Clair definitely have the weapon advantage in this round, but a couple ultimates extra on the side of University of Missouri definitely want to see them use these as it is the last round for them to do so. Piggy has the Bulldog here. 
does it have a full weapon? Like, Bulldog's a good weapon, don't get me wrong, but definitely want to see a Vandal or something like that. As they're finally going to put someone in mid so Saints can just walk up for free. But it looks like Saints are making their way over on that A site, making good amount of progress there. As the swings are coming out from Caillou, has a very, very good angle here now as the jump out peak is going to come out from the enemy jet, but that's the only person on that A site. You can see Smiley definitely hearing from his team, guys. There's only a jet on this site. Let's try and make our way into A here. But as I say that, Seth will be going down. Caillou's going to find a kill on Tuzela though. So it will be Saints who are able to take a bit of an advantage here. Make their way home to that A site. But it's going to be two ultimates coming out from the side of Missouri. As Panda's going to pick up Caillou. The plant will still be going down from Smiley. But the Soba ult came out as well from Happy Rabbit. Spike's fine in 40 seconds for Missouri to bounce back here. This drone should be able to spot out the killjoy. He does not wow. in tree there. Let's see if Giza's going to be able to to find one more yes there's going to be the sway coming through from Giza able to find the second does go down to Paragon but that Killjoy ultimate should get taken out by a Sova ultimate it does not so Smiley is in a dangerous position here is able to find his one before he gets detained and let's see how he decides to play this one Instinct does not have a solo ultimate Smiley will be going down it's a 1v1 situation here let's see how Instinct has decides to place one has his drone dart here should play the time should not go for the swing here as the tap's going to come through and the clutch is going to come out from Instinct St. Clair able to take a 7-5 lead into the second half. They have the lead, but it's just barely a lead. If the pistol round swings over to Missouri, then it's just going to probably be equalized that easily. But we saw the Saints win the first pistol round, so maybe they finally practiced pistols and we're looking to take this one as well. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, you know, pretty pretty decent first half from the Saints. A couple of huge clutches from Giza and Ningsing. Definitely carried them on that side. What do you think we need to see from them uh, on this defense to kind of calm down a little bit and take more control of this game? Uh, I just, I don't know. The defense is, is, is strange because the Saints still like to play aggressive on defense. So it, it'll work, I think, in pistol, but far from pistol, I, I think they have to try and play a little bit further back. And look, speaking of aggressiveness, they're just going to swing onto Paragon. Caillou's going to find a couple very, very early, and this is how the Saints love to play the defense. Inkstein's going to find everyone with that one. Mizzel's going to find one. Uh, Inkstein missed a couple shots onto mid there, but Caillou finding three, four on the round as he's back on this jet. <laughs> Great shots coming out from Kyrie there. Saints just put the pressure on University of Missouri and in the matter of seconds, able to take their second pistol round of the game. And the four going over to Jet is going to be scary because now Jet is halfway Too to the ultimate in one initial round. Kyrie going to be sticking with that sheriff, I believe, even though he has uh, enough money to buy. It's looking very, very good for the Saints right now, gun-wise. He wants to play for the operator on the third round. I think you're right. Very confident, he wants to be off, and we'll see if that pays off here. Giza coming down some swarm grenades, stopping any initial B push right now. They're just taking it slow and steady. I think they're just now expecting the massive push from the Saints, but it looks like they're gonna go for a flank over on B, Ooh. and they're just shoving up a mid. There's no mid control from Saints right now. Now, the players on B are just gonna get encroached upon here and insert flooding on through that smoke, doing a lot of work, good one way, but no one's there to play off of it, you know, sonar. Oh my goodness! Wow, what wall bangs, a wall bang headshot from Instinct's gonna be huge here. Looking for another, oh wow, my three! Goodness. And now, Panda gonna get one, and that's gonna be the round, just like that. Instinct saw them, line them up, and knock them down. Amazing gameplay from Instinct there. I mean, Instinct is usually their jet player. He's the one that has these crispy mechanics, is able to flick onto the heads of University of Missouri so beautifully there as they're able to take the round. As, and it's going to be Caillou picking up that operator as expected in the third round. Uh, University of Missouri should expect it, I believe, but if they aren't ready for it and they just go for a wide swing onto A, it would be very, very dangerous for them. As you can see, they are setting up to push this A side, but Caillou will be here with the operator. Definitely going to be the round-changing player here. We'll have to go huge here as a couple of his members don't really have uh, the best weapon. Seth, you can see, is sitting on a stinger, but it is going to be University of Missouri looking like they're going to be pushing into that A side. I think it's going to be all up to Caillou to find a couple of picks here. Caillou sitting back here looking for the off shot. Smokes up, but he finds it oh, anyway. Can't dash away. The corner can't dash oh, away, but he gets another kill, and Caillou getting a kill as well. Saves his life there. He's uh, the guardian angel for Caillou.
Absolutely. You have Spike down on A, they have Visual on and an op sitting on it. So now, University of Missouri is in an awful spot as Kaya just, just getting kill after kill with this op. It's all done to Paragon to try. Save, maybe. Try, save. Not going to take the 1v5 as a killjoy. But I have a sneaky suspicion that Saints might somehow end up finding Paragon here. They definitely are going to look for this last kill. Won't want the killjoy to be saving that one. As they're all moving up into the spawn of University of Missouri very slowly. It's going to be Giza, the first one to challenge. Paragon here is able to find him. And it's going to be a flawless round coming out from the Saints. That's three in a row now. And they have definitely got the momentum on their side now. University of Missouri now going to call a timeout as they have no money. Nothing is going in their favor on this attack here. And St. Clair have really stepped it up a bit in the second half. That's definitely to be expected here as the Saints, I think, weren't taking it seriously enough in the beginning attacking rounds and they kind of let them get the momentum and it slipped away from them. But now they're taking it dead serious, as you can tell, and just locking down the entire defense in this game. Instinct doing amazing, 18 and 10. Giza not too far behind, 17 and 8, and the timing a little bit less. Caillou still just being solid on the jet, but just being so lethal with that op, it adds so much more to the game. Yeah, in the second half, Kayo has seven kills on three rounds already. Definitely turning it up a notch here on this defense. And that 4K in the in the pistol round definitely got the momentum in his favor. He definitely felt good after that one and you know saved that second round, bought the operator third round and found three kills with that one, I believe. So a great play from the Saints just figuring out what to do against University of Missouri and then Missouri taking a time out here but it is a safe round I don't know if it's maybe the best time to take one maybe next round when you really have those weapons would be a better time for a timeout but they're gonna force up a couple stingers here uh, and I think there's gonna full on rush into this B site and hope for the best that's probably the play right now happy rabbit gearing up everybody's just getting ready for the full send over to B there's the knife not gonna find it Watch, I believe it's on Caillou. It's not going to that much. Paragon shooting it down. There's the knives coming out. Zella going to get shot down. And now Caillou is going to just rush in here with the knives. Finds one, finds oh, two, two. finds three. three. He's looking for four. Oh, That's going to be a flawless round. Giza cleaning it up. Beautiful round there from the Saints. Missouri, they had to find that opening pick on to Instinct to just run into that site, but Instinct through the wall with the Guardian was able to find the shot up close and that kind of sealed the round for the Saints. The rest of the team of Missouri was looking at Instinct back into sight there, but as they were doing that, Caillou whipped out the knives and just cut them down, was able to find three there, and yet another flawless round for the Saints as if they win this round, should be all she wrote for this first map. Time this is the round that will really swing things here, end it all, or make Missouri have another chance at life. He's up, forward, through, there's the smoke, alarm bot triggered. Zella takes a lot of ground here, dashing on the site. I don't think they know, but now he has a hint to it. There's the, there's the cloud oh, burst, he gets shot. a kill. He's gonna send out a sonar, he finds one. Will he find it through the wall? No, he won't, he's blinded. He's getting cover fire from Smiley, and Smiley three. takes down three. And now, once again, I'm getting deja vu, Paragon, not with the team, <laughs> and not gonna win the round either. Yeah, Paragon gonna look for the save, and it's, Basically the exact same thing that happened last round. You have your jet go in the back, try and kill Instinct early, and Instinct just finds the one-on-one -on -one kill, just outplaying uh, Zella there. And then the rest of the team of Missouri are like, okay, he's low HP, we have to push into the back. But as that's happening, someone from the side of the Saints is able to just gun them down that time, Smiley picking up three. And it's gonna be Paragon sitting in spawn here, but Caillou is not gonna let that happen. Gonna look to push with the operators, able to figure out where he is, but Paragon, gonna find a nice little shot here still will be getting pushed one by one by the Saints they love to do this kind of ritual over and over a Seth's gonna go down as well Paragon's uh -oh. gonna take a bit of damage Pistol of the Operator is gonna pick up Giza and all of a sudden it's a <laughs> 1v1 situation Spike is still down on B but Saints love throwing away their advantages it seems like only 18 seconds left though so he's gonna have to sprint on the side and get the plant down let's see how paragon decides to play this one is the swing gonna come out in time no it won't 10 seconds left paragon has to get the spike down five seconds left four seconds the spike is going down but smiley will be able to find the shots there and get his fourth kill of the round saints definitely sweating <laughs> a little bit there after throwing away a couple lives paragon trying to find the clutch but saints gonna put themselves on match point paragon 
are gonna have one final shot at this, gonna fall by the Vandals with the Light Shields, but if uh, they can't find a good start to this round, it's gonna be all she wrote. Yeah, Paragon had a little bit of a crazy round going for themselves there, but able to find the last kill. The Saints looking to close this one up with match point. They're unable to buy any heavy shields. It's going to be a very, very hard round. All they have is the Omen ult to play with. It's not looking great for them, so they're just going to go loud, go proud. Oh my god, the B. The flash comes out, and that's a nice pick from Zella there. He's going to open up A site. Really why getting two kills. This might be the comeback from Missouri. This round is the round they need to win. And they're gonna make their way over to B as soon as they possibly can without making any noise, but Saints aren't gonna rotate over too heavily as Giza should be able to make his way over towards that side and still get some use from his Uto, but Seth going for a flank will go down to Bergon. Giza actually has an operator on this kill joint, not something you see every day. Maybe could find a collateral here. We'll be able to pick up one, gets out of danger as well. Maybe looking for something through smoke here. Won't be able to find it there. Now things stand a 1v4, will pop his ultimate, but he's getting pushed by two members here. Will drop his ultimate. It's gonna be a round going over to University of Missouri. St. Clair just kind of fell apart from all sides. A yeah, very messy round. They went for the crazy jet push onto A. Kind of completely threw that round there. And then even using the ult when you're the last guy, are you really going to win the one before? Uh, I think it's just a little bit of overconfidence coming out from the Saints. Yes, they're great. <laughs> but And yes, you're about to win. But you can easily slip away from them. If they lose this next round, it's going to be rough. and we back back down to the... To the Poverty weapons, and they're gonna have a really rough time getting out of there. Now the knife goes out. Giza yeah. playing slow. It looks like they're taking it a little bit more seriously now. Now it's just a waiting game. They're trying to bait out that A push once again, but it's not gonna happen this time. Omen gonna stick and watch the flank, taking a little bit of a playbook out from the Saints, and now gonna opt for the B push rotate. Yeah, it's going to be a B push coming out from University of Missouri. And Saints only have a couple members set up here. So if Missouri can go quickly, should be able to get this. But Inkstein with this Odin, if he can find at least a couple picks here, should just wrap it up for the Saints here. Let's see how Missouri decides to play this one. Will Inkstein get smoked off or will it just be shots coming out here? Nice little swing there actually. Forces Inkstein out of his position and he won't be able to find much. But Seth is able to find a couple. Smiley finds the third and it's a 4v2 situation for the side of St. Clair. Great start to this round for them as the K ultimate is coming out from Piggy. He's gonna have to find something massive here. Smiley just has to walk through the smoke and will be able to find an opponent. Piggy's gonna be able to pick up one. Flash will come out but he's gonna get out of dodge. As the nade comes out from Smiley, that's gonna force the rotate there from that Omen still a 3v2 situation with the Saints. The Odin spam will come through from Inkstein, will take down Piggy, and now it's going to be Panda in a 1v3. The trade will come out from Giza there as he finds Smiley, but it's going to be St. Clair. Saints able to pick up the first map in a pretty dominant 13-6 fashion. Yeah, very dominant indeed. The first attacking half for the Saints really didn't go as planned, but as soon as they got on defense, they really tightened everything down, and they played an amazing game. Yeah, and uh, you know, First half was very, very close, 7-5 half, but in that second half, Missouri only able to pick up the one round. Inkstein, Giza, and Caillou leading the way. Great games from all of them as St. Clair, you know, played some interesting rounds in that first half. Maybe some rounds that they shouldn't have won, they won, <laughs> but if they didn't get those clutch clutch plays from Giza and Instinct in those sheriff rounds, that could have been a completely different scoreline, but they were able to find the clutch clutches, they were able to win the rounds when they mattered most, and they're able to take the first map 13-6. Yeah, they played very well, they hit all their shots, but it just was a little bit weird on the tactical front, I believe. But going forward, I think we're going to see a little bit more cleaner gameplay. I think they could, they thought they could get away with some stuff that they couldn't against yeah. Mizzo. But they were able to clutch it up and make it not look too bad. But going forward on the next map, I believe that this attack is going to look a lot cleaner. Yeah, they're going to be on attack first again and definitely going to look for a bit of a larger scoreline than 7-5. But on the bright side, they were able to win both pistol rounds, which is not something you see very, very often with our Saints. And, you know, in that second half, uh, just really, really started the snowball after the piss round, you know, they only dropped exactly. the one <laughs> round. So if our Saints win that piss round, they do become very, very deadly as they're going to look to take game two in pretty swift fashion. And game two is going to be on bond here. So it's looking to be an interesting attack. You know, the teleports are yeah. just very, 
very interesting. You know, they're loud, but they let you do some very quick rotates. So Bind is going to be very interesting to watch. I'm excited to see what comes out from the Saints. But we're going to throw it to a quick break, and we'll be right back with Game 2.
Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Seaval North playoffs. It's University of Missouri versus St. Clair College. St. Clair did take game one in a semi-dominant fashion, very back and forth on attack. But once they got to the defense, they really locked everything up. And we're going to be going into game two on bind here. And let's look at the lineups today, Theo. Yeah, I mean, we know the lineups. Let's look at the agents. We're going to have yep. Piggy on that sky on the nerf sky so still gonna be choosing to pick that one up panda's gonna be on the brimstone zella hopping off of that duelist roll gonna go on to the cypher happy rabbit 47 is gonna be on that viper and it's gonna be paragon paragon on that raise on the side of the saints a bit yeah. of interesting hovers here I don't know what we're going to see, but for sure we're going to have at least a brimstone. Some nice smokes coming out there. Definitely one of the stronger smokers on by just able to smoke from anywhere. Let's see how the rest of the lineup's going to look. Two yeah, seconds if, to lock everything in. If they lock the Yoru, that's going to be insane. I guess the teleporters, you can get some crazy fake oh, outs, but uh, it it's, is. it's going to be an interesting pick. You usually pick Yoru against opponents you think will be easily tricked, because if you know how the clone moves... Yeah. It's going to be disastrous for the Saints. And we can take a look at the rest of the lineup for the Saints. Viper for Kai Youssef on that raise. Uh, don't really see Seth on raise too often, so that's going to be interesting as well. Giza on Sky. Usually something Kai would play, but... And then, yeah, as you said, the Yoru coming out there for Inksing. That's going to be a very, very interesting start. The Saints are on the attack, so... I've seen them play even more than two duelists at a time and try and really snowball from that early game but let's see how the entry frags are going to be looking with two duelists it's looking to be very very interesting here it's <sighs> yoru is an interesting pick it's flashes flashes are decent but <laughs> flashes. The, the clones and the rest of his kit is kind of just memes you would use it for the clips for the mix-ups if i think it'll work for the beginning it's going to be a very great beginning for the yoru but once we get at least like four rounds in, I think Mizzo will will liven up to that. All right, here we are, Paragon, watching showers. The flash dodges it. There's a TP from Yoru, but yep, that's gonna be Yoru right there, getting taken out. He's uh, getting a nice pick right back, punishing it. It's back and forth here as it miss. Get uh, Panda gets one. Oh, one HP. Caillou gonna get one. Barely gets out, but he gets taken out by Smiley there, getting a nice double kill. Spike is going to be down, it's a 1v3. Yeah, 1v3 and it's going to be the Rotate coming over all the way from B site. Let's see if that pick will come through there. Piggy's going to be able to find the kill, but he's on 1 HP. One bullet will be able to take him down. The right clicks come out there from the Saints. Piggy picks up Smiley and Seth in a very, very dangerous position there, but able to clutch it out for the Saints. A very nice start for them in that first round. Kind of just trades back and forth in bathrooms, but in the end, Saints able to find the picks when they needed the most, and they're going to be winning their third pissed around of the series never thought i would see myself saying that yeah it looks like maybe they're just a little bit stronger on pistols against mizzo usually even teams that the saints far outclass they <laughs> manage to beat them on pistols but you know maybe mizzo is just right there with the saints just a little bit better with the more expensive weapons so this round's going to be very tough for them and it looks like they're going to go for it once again but this one's going to be riskier as he does have a vandal if he gives this one up it's going to be disastrous and just to take a lot of ground here, it gets revealed by the camera, oh. doesn't get the pick, but his teammate does not finish it up, oh, that's going to be a Vandal fingers. going over to them. The whole team of Missouri are in this bathrooms, and they're going to be able to pick up another one, Seth finds the trade, but 1 HP on Piggy, on that sky, no, can't heal himself, as Excel's going to find another one, 2v3 now for the Saints, as Seth's going to fly in on the raise, look for an early pick, the Cypher cam will be destroyed, but Saints kind of just taking some weird engagements and losing them at that in a 2v3, still very capable of pulling off this clutch, but can't really leave this a area because they don't want Missouri to be able to pick up those weapons, but as I say that, Missouri decide to go on the flank and pick up the weapons. Were they able to spot out that Cypher jumping up and down? I'm not too sure. This guy's going to be on the flank on 1 HP. Shots coming through through smoke. Won't be able to find it as Smiley's going to pick up one. The fake plant comes through, but the sky is on the flank. 
Saints have to be careful there. Smiley going crazy on this Brimstone in these early rounds. Does Seth have any idea that it could be behind him? Piggy does take him down, but is on 8 HP. Let's see how Smiley has to this one. I wouldn't be surprised to see the teleport come through. The plant will come down, and he's going to be so, so close to that Brimstone ultimate. If he's able to find the clutch here, we'll have it for next round. Having that Brim ultimate in the third round would be crucial, but does he have any idea where this guy is coming from? Piggy is on 8 HP. Need to repeat that again. Just that little bit of fire from Brim's Molly will take him down. Let's see if he can get the good timing here, Smiley. Yes, he will. Finds a third kill of the round and will have his Brimstone ultimate for this third round. Could be a crucial one to give Saints a good snowball. That's a big ultimate in the third round. Smiley playing very, very well right now. And going forward, now Mizzo does have the money to buy some weapons and it looks like they are buying some phantoms. Maybe this is the round that they gotta win. But with Smiley having that ult, that just might clear sight enough for the Saints to take it over. And we're gonna see a Bucky coming up for Seth. No, a Judge, as he's gonna look to get into the backline on the raids. As if their Saints are gonna choose to push up B. They're gonna be able to take Hookah advantage for free. Nobody up here, but on long instincts gonna find the opening pick on that Yoru. And now Saints gonna look to push in Zella. We'll have to go massive here on this cipher. They have no idea that he's in here. But he's able to find one. Won't be able to find a second though. Caillou finding a huge trade there. The plant will go down for the Saints as Smiley will actually hop off that one. The Molly will come out from Panda, but it won't be too good. Giza's gonna able to pick up Piggy, and with that Brimstone ultimate St. Clair should just kind of back up and just play for that as Paragon's going to be on the flank on the raise. Seth has to be very very careful. Has no idea that Paragon's behind him as he will go down Saints 3v2 situation. Still very dangerous. Missouri could look to bring this one back but the Brimstone from Missouri is just sitting in spawn really. Not looking to push through Paragon. Looking for a swinger but Caillou with a beautiful shot. Puts himself in a 3v1 situation as the Brimstone's going to run away. Panda knows he can't clutch this one up. St. Clair getting off to a very very hot start here in the second map is going to take a 3-0 lead. Yeah, an amazing start from St. Clair. Panda really wanted to keep this Vandal. He just might. He's taking a gunfight. Bomb still hasn't blown up. He has a few more seconds to live. Oh, he gets the kill. That's going to make it expensive for the Saints. A little bit more expensive for the Saints, but I don't think that's the worst challenge to go for. If you're able to pick up that last Vandal from Missouri, no real threat would be in this fourth round, but St. Clair can still afford a full buy. They're on this winning streak, getting a lot of income round after round, so Saints putting themselves in a prime position to blow this lead wide open. Yeah, they're in an amazing spot right now, just continuing to barrel on through. They just have to watch out for these two Vandals. Those are the things that will swing the tide of this next round, and I'm just wondering if they'll be able to match them there. Looks like they're going to push for bathrooms once again. There's the flash. Expecting the Yoru clone. There it is. He shoots it. Doesn't find much. Piggy dodge the bullets, though. Go for a flash of his own. Peeks it. Doesn't find much. All he has is a classic. I'm always challenging this. It's a bad decision. Gets the orb anyways and gets out. Fair enough. Caillou peeking it over and over. Trying to jiggle peek this. He has a feeling the Cypher's there, but... Cypher's not going to push until he sees that the coast is clear. He barely walked into that tripwire, oh, finds the shot. kill. Moving on through, there's the Viper ult. Ooh. That's going to take a lot of ground. Zella getting a nice pick, and there is the Brim ult as well, clearing out U-Haul. I don't know if I like that play. Didn't really find much from that. Mezo going to find one on the Saints. Pushing on oh, through, he's going to go oh. down. The Saints are falling apart here. They're all very low. Spike is down, and it's all down to Giza. He's been found out by a Seeker. It's not a great position to be in. And now, the one that was low is being healed out, and that's going to be a great round going to, over to University of Missouri. Two alts from St. Clair, just wasted. Terrible attacking round there from the Saints. As you said, a couple of huge, huge ultimates. The Viper and Brimstone ultimate. When you use those ultimates on attack, should be as close to a lock round as it is, but they were just not in the right place at the right time, and... Missouri were able to find the shots when they needed to most. Also, investing a couple of ultimates of their own, the Sky and Cypherol did come out there. But now the Saints are going to be completely broke for this next round. Missouri, that was definitely an important round for them to win as they look to snowball their way back into this first half. Exactly, we're not too far behind. We're just beginning here. Caillou pushing up, the flash comes out. There's the blast packs with the shotgun. Not there to greet him though. Shoots the flash, gets the kill. It's going to be a trade coming out from both sides though. 
Now, Seth takes some ground. He's trying to play these angles very, very closely. 45 HP and a dream, and a Bucky in hand as well. Finds one. He knows he's there, I believe. So Molly on the ground here. Instinct is locking down this B site. The rest of his team is there with him. The rest of Missouri is going to be coming oh. in again from spawn, and that's a nice pick from Zella. That was a crucial gunfight there. Smiley was able to pick that one up. Could have swung this round in St. Clair's favor. But now in the 2v4 situation, Instinct, I believe, is the only one with a weapon here. As it's going to be uh, Sky only having a Sheriff. Let's see how Saints plays one. Giza's going to be able to find one. Does get traded out. And Instinct's going to be falling down there as well. So Missouri able to string a couple of rounds together. Is going to get the defuse here. And they're going to be able to make this one a 3-2 game. Too. Just like it seemed like the Saints were running away with it, they lost that crucial, crucial round. Now, this is the round they have to try and regain their footing, but it's going to be tough as Mizzo is still going to be at the top of their game, and it looks like we see an op being bought on their side. Yeah, I mean, Paragon going to be picking that one up on raise. It's not th something you see too often, but it's going to be something St. Clair not expecting. I don't think they're going to be ready for a raise to be holding an operator, but if she is going to be on that A side of St. Clair. Look to push this B side. They do have the Sky Ultimate, and that could be used maybe to start this round off. Let's see how they decide to play this one. Happy Rabbit has been holding down this B long, but has kind of been getting overpowered by the numbers of St. Clair calls. Let's see how this attack goes through. Giza is going to destroy that Cypher Tripwire. Does not decide to use the Sky Ultimate just yet. I think now would be a great time to do so to really figure out how many members are on this B side. But they're just going to look to swing in early. Do they know where anyone is? In the corner there, Smiley's going to be able to pick up one. Brimstone ult coming out, but won't be able to find too much. Only picks up Caillou. Seth now with the Razor Ultimate. Could be massive. It's just in a small wow. has a couple. Paragon finds the trade as the shots are coming out from everybody. But St. Clair Saints are going to be able to find the trade. <laughs> Absolute chaos on the side. They're going to be able to pick up that operator and take a 4-2 lead in the second map. What a major round win for St. Clair College. That was the round they need to win. That showstopper really Massive. won them that round, the double kill. Sure, he died for it, but he took the shot of the enemy showstopper and got two for it. That's what you love to see. That's what you got to do when you're the Rays. You're going to go in there. You're going to die for the team, find your two picks, and really secure that round. Yeah, that, was, that ultimate definitely put them ahead and also was able to... Uh, he, he got killed by Paragon from that ultimate, so kind of took out a couple members and neglected kind of the enemy ultimate because he probably would have gone down anyway no matter what after shooting that one. Anyone who peeked through that smoke would have taken him down, but a great, great round from the Saints as they're able to pick that one up. They still won't have the most money, won't be yeah. able to get full buys, but... Uh, they do have an operator on the side of Vandal. If they're able to take this round, this first uh, half is going to be very, very, very good for them. Yeah, it's going to be a very interesting round. It's not being able to buy fully for the team is interesting. And they also have to play around an op. So you have to play very, very carefully here. They're going to be walking into a full Vandal. So we're going to see a Spectre buy. We're going to see Caillou not opt to buy. No, he must buy a gun. Yeah, there he is. He's going to sell his abilities by Where's the himself. outlaw? I want to see the outlaw. <laughs> see the outlaw too, but maybe Everyone's just, on light shield. No one's comfortable for it. So, here we are. They have an op. They already have oh, a They have an op, I guess, so, yeah. They're going to just stick with that for the long range. Now, happy rabbit. Oh! Wow, that's a nice pick from Piggy there. Inkston getting killed through his clone. Just going down super early on that KO. Hasn't been able to find too much uh, not on the KO. Why the Yoru. Yeah. The Yoru. <laughs> hasn't been able to find too much value yet. Seth's going to be able to pick up one, but two more picks coming out from University of Missouri. This is going to be a great start to this round for them. 4v2 situation. Saints kind of falling apart from all angles, but they're still going to try and win this one. See if Caillou can make a huge play. Giza with this operator definitely doesn't want to take any risky challenges, but needs to do so if the Saints are going to win this round. But University of Missouri playing this one very, very well. Dropping back after they find the initial picks and they're going to give the site over to St. Clair. Let's see if St. Clair realized that Giza kind of dodging all of the tripwires <laughs> there and getting into a very good position for himself. Did not get the spike there but Saints making up some ground here as Missouri has backed up really, really far here. 
If they had the spike, would be a way better scenario for them here. But it's going to be Caillou who's going to go pick that one up. He's going to walk through one tripwire. Probably going to walk through the other oh. one. Giza did all of that work for nothing. Let's see if the spike is going to go down. The peak with Operator. Oh my goodness, into the smoke is absolutely insanity. Oh my goodness, one shot from Giza. He's able to stay alive as well with that Operator. It would be a very good round for him now. They're going to pop, maybe pop that Sky Ultimate as Giza almost went for the swing there. The Cucumbers will get shot down, but Caillou unfortunately does go down, which makes this so, so hard for Giza with the Operator as soon as he swings through. Could have maybe found the Collat shot there, but Piggy's so going to be able to pick that one up as University of Missouri able to string a couple of rounds together and are back in this game. That was an awful round for the Saints. They all kind of fell apart there. And Giza, unluckily, really wanted to keep that up. Really just felt like he had to invest in this round. He used his ult. Really got nothing for it as Seth just kind of fell there, got caught off guard as they all decide to rush his mom. Zella gearing up, putting up those tripwires. Those are some great tripwires there. It was, it was great to see the players try and maneuver around them and try and be sneaky. I love watching some Cypher gameplay here. But we see there's an op on the side of a Mizo Esports. Once again, Piggy watching this B long. It's, he's going for it every single time on the Yoru. Let's see if it works out for him this time. Looks like Caillou gets found out right away. Instinct is a little bit of a flash. And why does he do this every single time? It hasn't worked a single time. And now they're all in complete disarray. It's 1v4. Oh, no. Disaster. That was an awful, that was one of the worst rounds I've ever seen from the Saints. I'm, they're amazing players, yeah. right? But. I don't know what that strat was. <laughs> I mean, they were on a save round. I think they just kind of <laughs> yeah. said, "Yo, let's let's throw let's throw something in the fire here and let's see how big the fire gets." And right now, the kitchen is burning down after that round. But let's see if they can get back on track here. They're going to be able to go for the full buys here, and I think they're definitely going to focus up a little bit here. We saw this from them last map, able to take an early lead, but then kind of throwing a few rounds away and. I just want to point out, Panda from University of Missouri is having an insane map so far. 14 and 4, really having a great performance for themselves and really putting the team on their back. But even with that insane scoreline, it's still a 4-4 game. Definitely going to need a little bit more from their teammates to bring this one back. Let's see how Saints decide to push the attack. Looks like they're going to go over to this A site and let's see if they can get an early plant down. Let's see if they can do it. There's a TP coming out from Instinct, just faking the push to B. Gonna rotate over with his team. Maybe we'll see some funny clone use here on A. Caillou gonna put down the poison orb, able to cross into the U-Haul. Figure that out with a snake bite there. I can find anything of it though. They're all holding no sight very far back. Watching U-Haul like a hawk could get flashed out. Sees the Yoru, but it's not gonna be enough. And they get the win there as they get two kills over the one trade. It's a great start for the Saints, and they're going to get that plant down pretty early. Paragon, yet again on this raise, has that operator, but just couldn't find anything. Got smoked off and can't really find too much value. Saints shouldn't be peeking anything. Just wait until someone taps that bomb and really, and then swing out using your numbers advantage to your advantage. Happy Rabbit is going to try and make some space there. The ultimate's going to come out from the Viper. Let's see how Saints side of this one. Do they have any brimstone? things going on to here halfway on the defuse it's gonna come through he's gonna just be sticking this one and it looks like he's gonna be able to pick up the defuse shorty's gonna be able to pick up that kill as well as the round will go over to the university of missouri and saints kind of just falling apart giving up that spike for free didn't have the brimstone ult ultimate i don't think no i think he got it after he died yeah i think he got it after he died and no Molly to really keep them off that Caillou didn't have any of his utility. Seth didn't have any of his utility. Really wonder why Saints didn't have any of that for the post plant, but Missouri are gonna pick that one up and they're gonna put themselves in the lead for the first time in all, this series. All I have to say in that round is pros don't fake and <laughs> as yeah. you can see it pays off when you don't fake. I think the Saints were hoping they're gonna go have Wow, oh. the up shot misses. Big That's win. huge for the Saints. They're gonna keep pushing on. Here. Big blast pack. There is the push. Paragon's really pushed up here. Gets a nice quick scope. It's now good. that's three going over to the Saints. It's 2v3. Very hectic beginning of the round, but that's going to be A-site cleared. Go get a gun. Instinct. They have to rotate over. Instinct still doesn't have a gun. The Stinger up close against that Viper in those close corners right here is actually 
maybe a better choice than a Vandal or a Phantom, but he's going to make his way up to heaven. That's a very, very risky play as Happy Rabbit is easily going to pick that one up. I don't know what Inksting was thinking with that play, but let's see how Saints decide to play the 2v2. They are stacked on top of each other. Caillou wants to make sure no ninja defuses come this time. Giza's gonna find that pick and Caillou's gonna pick up the second. Great little clutch from, their, them, from them there in the 2v2 as they're gonna make it 5-5 five, five and getting a little bit of deja vu from last time. Last, last map, it was 5-5. Five, five. St. Clair were able to pick up these last two rounds. Let's see if they can replicate it on this map and start to run away with it in the second half. Yeah, let's see if they can do it here. They just need to get a little bit of a lead. They are still down in money. If they can win this run, the one that they'll be looking pretty good going forward but against the op paragon is just maybe not <laughs> leading in kills right now but just having to play against that op is really throwing off the saint strats here they don't like having to check these long angles and play very cautiously they like to play very aggressively there's the yoru alt not gonna find too much on b but that might be what they need result this one yes, there's the showstopper he finds happy nice. rabbit there nice Double combo there with the alts, and that's two picks going over to the Saints. They're in a very good position right now. Beautifully played attack there. Instinct definitely calling out where that player is and stuff flying in there on the raise, picking up that kill. Panda's gonna take some damage. There's gonna be an ultimate coming out from the Viper. Saints definitely don't want to lose this one. Inkstink's gonna pick up Panda, and this should be all she wrote for this round. They're gonna be in this Viper. Paragon's gonna be saving his operator. Zella is gonna be going down to Giza. And a great round from St. Clair, really using their ultimates to their uh, best potential there. And the shots will come out from Paragon somehow. Didn't hit anything there. And it's going to be running for their lives, but getting pushed from literally every single angle will be a very rough one for them. Kai is going to pick that one up. Flawless round for St. Clair College, and they're able to pick up this next round. Will put themselves in a great position heading into the second half and looking at the weapons, might be looking to do so. Uh, on the board, it should be going over to them. They do have to play against the Showstop, which could shake things up. Absolutely. Cypher Alt, not really going to amount to much. It'll be great if the round isn't going their way and they need a little bit of a clutch up. But I think we might be seeing a repeat of one here. If they can win this next round and if their defense is good enough, I believe we'll be having a little bit of deja vu going forward. Gonna see Caillou throwing out the smoke, clearing it out. There's the early Yoru clone going over to B site. Not gonna be uh, mounting anything. There's the warp over to A. And it's a nice little psychological tactic there. Giza gonna try and snipe nice everything out. That's a nice big pick from Smiley. And Caillou getting a nice early pick as well. Chokestopper is still on the board here. They can take out that race and be sitting comfortably. Oh, nice shot. Caillou gets one more. It's all looking very good for the Saints right now. They just need to get Plant down. A 5v2 situation. 1v5 situation. This could be the showstopper of all showstoppers <laughs> if they do clutch up. And here they are looking to find one. Oh, and he gets it. My. He still gets it at the last second. A little bit messy, but we take him. There it is. There's a showstopper. Clearing one, clearing two. Baking the defuse. Oh, and right. wasn't watching his back. And that is Giza clutching up. The first half here, five to seven. I mean, a bit of a shaky half again from the Saints, but yet again, they're able to take the 7-5 lead going to the second half. I think a big factor for why that was so close is Panda for a side of Missouri, 59-8, slowing down a bit towards the end of that first half, but in those earlier rounds, definitely led the comeback for University of Missouri. And, you know, if he can't uh, keep up this kind of firepower, it's going to be really rough for Missouri. But if Panda can string together a couple more huge rounds for them, maybe the rest of the team can pick up on the momentum and turn it up a notch. Yeah, definitely. It's looking very risky for the Saints. I think a lot rides on this pistol round of who's going to take the lead. I think if Missouri gets the early pistol round, they might be even able to maybe win this entire thing. I'm sure Saints will have a big comeback, but if they can get these early round wins, they can go back and forth. Good spot. Is it taking the early kill though? It's going to be massive for the team. And that's Panda. That's Panda as well. Big player out of the game. Seth getting another kill. It's a 3v5 scenario. Missouri not having the best time on attack right here. I mean, Saints have definitely turned up a notch on these pistol rounds. Practice it after last night. Caillou's going to be able to pick up one as well. And now the pushes will come through. Sky will fall Spike. down. Spike is down. 1v5 scenario for this happy rabbit. Going to pick up one. 
will be looking for the second as Caillou's looking for those right clicks, won't be able to find it, but the rest of the team is pushing through. Caillou going to find his third up the round. St. Clair, perfect on the pistol round so far in this series as they win their fourth one in two maps. Ow. They're going to arm themselves to the T. Shorty. There it is. There's the outlaw. <laughs> oh, there it is. We'll see what Instinct has to do with this. I'm excited to see what he has to cook. He's been doing some silly stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> taking it a little seriously now. It's all one-shot kill, I believe, if yeah. they're unarmored. We're going to buy light armor. It's still going to shred them down to pieces. Excited to see it. Let's see it. I mean, it's five shorty is coming out from University of Missouri, so this might not be the best test for it, but it's going to be a full on A rush from Missouri. Look at the mini map. They're all sprinting their way through that A site. Instinct is going to be here, however, with this outlaw. Let's keep our eyes on him. Let's see if he can get anything done. The push will come through from. The Sky here. I don't think the Sky should even walk through. You just sit there with the Shorty. It's definitely the best play, but the dog will calm out. The Brim isn't going to be able to find that pick, but Instinct is going to be able to find one with the Outlaw. Spike is down, but only Shorty's first out of University of Missouri. Saints just need to play their range perfectly. Let's see how they decide to do so. They're going to push through. Seb's going to be able to pick up one. Let's see if they can get the next one. Instinct is wow. going to find a second with the Outlaw, and Giza is going to pick up Zella. A very clean round from the Saints, considering the fact University of Missouri had five Shorties. The fact they were able to get the Spike down and get a kill. Definitely good for their economy, but Saints didn't even fall by Caillou. As you can see, does not have a weapon, and that means that Saints are going to have some strong weaponry to fire back in this next round. It's going to be very, very good for the Saints right now. As you can see, our first showing of the Outlaw. Pretty good. Very, very strong against these lightly armored targets. And there's just going to be even more going forward here. As they're going to opt for the rifles. If Instinct sticks with this and Ant Lance's shots, this could be massive taking out a Vandal. Yeah. One shot's gonna be devastating. Right here. And it seemed like pretty pretty strong. I don't know why we haven't seen yeah. it so far. It's like <laughs> a budget op here. And the amount of times that uh, both of these teams have bought up light shields, I'm surprised we don't see more often. How much does it cost? I, I'll get back to you on that. <laughs> okay. I'm pretty sure it's one of the what? cheaper weapons, maybe around judge price. Maybe I think maybe at least 2k judge like 1850 or something, but let's see how the Saints play this one. Happy Rabbit gonna take down that clone there as it's gonna be a default push coming up from University of Missouri. They really need this round to bring themselves back into this game. Instant's gonna take down the dog there with the outlaw, and it seems like he has pretty good rate of fire. Only two bullets in the mag there though, but able to take down that sky dog and instantly be able to look up at the rest of long. Pretty, pretty strong option. Here. Instinct is going to be holding this one. Nobody is pushing this. They're scared to get one shot by the outlaw. Definitely don't want to lose a weapon. But speaking of getting one shot, Caillou is sitting up close and personal with this judge and could put in absolute work here. He's going to pick up one. And will he be able to get out with his life? No, he won't. But picking up Piggy to start that one off. Perrigan's going to find the trade. The nade will come through. That's a beautiful nade. Should make some space for him there as the plant will be faked out. The one for one trade there will come out. I was able to find Giza, but Zella will be going down as well as the swing from the Yoru is going to come out. Instant only has a pistol there, will be able to find that kill. And let's see, Paragon's going to get wow. flanked by Seth with that Spectre now in a 3v1 scenario. Alpha's going to get picked up back by Instinct, going to wow. be able to find that shot onto Panda, who was able to pick up Seth, but St. Clair able to win their third round in a row. And then I'm getting extreme deja vu from last map. They're going to be able to take the 10 5 lead and snowball their way to the second map. Yeah, we see upgraded to the Vandal. The Outlaw is 2,400 Oh, so that's pretty it's expensive. pretty exp yeah. expensive, but as you can see, very, very powerful choice. As, you know, it just shreds those lightly armored targets it's like a mini op, like we said, but as you can see, now that they have enough for the heavy shields, it's a little bit better to pick that Vandal, which is just a one shot to the head. I believe it's like 149 yeah. to the head for the Outlaw, so it just barely doesn't kill a fully armored target. So that's really its main use, is when you're up on credits, enemy wants to try and be cheeky, plays the light armor meta, you pick up the Outlaw, now they have to deal with a faster firing op. Yeah. I mean, uh, St. Clair in the <laughs> second half, I mean, really turning it up a notch again, just on this defensive side, as you said, maybe the easier side to play, and they're definitely showing that that's the case. On attack, struggling both maps, 7-5, but now on defense, just slaughtering their opposition, and 10-5 lead, three rounds away, still can't get too overconfident. We've seen this before. They kind of 
get a bit loosey-goosey towards the end of some maps, maybe pull out the knives and start doing some silly things, but let's see if they're going to be able to close this one out. Uh, yeah. I'm excited to see what they have in store as the timeout is over. Here we are. Miz Panda going to be going over the outlaw. He's got gotten killed by it, and now he wants to try killing with it. There he is. Maybe he'll be able to do some sneaky stuff here. But the Saints are going to be mainly fully armored, so I don't know how effective this outlaw is going to be here. Yeah, let's see. What is going to happen? Instincts now turning up in the second half. He's going to find Zella with a very, very early pick. Of Saints are pushing into the spawn of Missouri. They're going to be able to find Panda, who hasn't really had an impact in the second half so far. Caillou is all on his lonesome here on this B side, but only has the 1v1 against the sky here for the time being. Let's see how he decides to play. Does get flashed out, but doesn't get spotted just yet. It's going to be able to find one. Another swing's going to come through if he found that would have been insane. But Paragon's going to pick that one up. But Paragon will go down and sneakily. Happy Rabbit has made their way over towards this A side, but will not have the Viper ultimate all yet, as this is Sheriff. And will be going down to Seth. St. Clair take an 11-5 lead, and they're putting themselves in the prime position to win this map. This next round could be all Shield. It's going to be one final buy from University of Missouri. Their last chance to give it all they have, but St. Clair will have those full buys. Will have at least the result of Kai is able to get at least one pick. Should get that Viper as well. Let's see if Seth can get some work done on that raise. Yeah, he's gonna try and get these kills here with that showstopper. I'm. This is it. This is the round. I'm just excited to see it. I'm getting deja vu from the last game. A major lead in the defensive half there. A nice trade. That's gonna be huge for University of Missouri. They're gonna open up that B side a lot for them if they knew. If there's one waiting for them there, I'm sure they would have flooded in already. But they're taking it low and they're taking it slow here. Caillou still holding this with the Odin. Finds one, looking to find two, trying to get the Odin span. Gonna get out here. There's a showstopper. Doesn't find anything. Doesn't find anything. He finds one there. Let's get traded. That's gonna be two going down. It's 2 right now. Spike is down. Instinct gonna have to retreat out of the snake bite there. Now, Camping it out. I don't think they heard the teleport. Yeah, maybe they have no idea that the Yoru's here, but it looks like they are looking that direction. The flash is going to come through the teleport. Behind them, they have no idea where he's at. It's going to be able to find one. Now in the 1v1 scenario, Smiley knows the spike is going down. Let's see how he decides to play this one. Viper's going to go for swing, but Smiley with the one-on-one -on -one clutch will find the one-tap onto Happy Rabbit there. And he's going to put St. Clair in a prime position to take this second map. The side of Missouri now will be kind of broken. St. Clair are just firing all, all cylinders in the second half, yet to drop a singular round. Even when things weren't looking good for them, they were able to pick it up, and this might be all sure. With one final uh, attempt here from Missouri, let's see what kind of strategy St. Clair chooses to bring out here. As Caillou will be buying up that judge, will definitely just drop his ultimate down on A and sit in that one, wait around the corner for someone to come through. Just looking purely on one the alts on the board right now, I'm going to say this one's going to go over to St. Clair. They have the gun advantage, they have the alt advantage. There's the Seekers coming out from Missouri, but oh, it could be crazy. This could be a huge showstopper. He gets oh, the value. Viper, that's going to be major. Seth. Seth getting a nice double though. Oh, that's double right back. They're answering everything St. Clair has to offer right now. It's a 3v2 situation. They could actually win this round. Inkstain's gonna be able to pick up one, gonna be able to pick up a second, and it looks like his sky is just looking him dead in the eyes there. As he's gonna teleport out, it's gonna be all on to Zella here on this cipher to find the 1v2. Does pick up the spike, the plant is gonna be going down inside of that cage, but the Yoru. A fake teleport comes through, the peak will come out, and that should be all she wrote. Inkstain's gonna find that third kill of St. Clair. Saints are able to take down University of Missouri. 2-0, 13-6, 13-5. Very, very strong performance defensively from the Saints, but a very, very close series on the attacking side for them. Yeah, an amazing uh, defensive gameplay from the Saints both times. Not to count out Mizzo, they answered them on their own defensive half every single time. It was very, very close all the way through, but the Saints, once they got to that defensive position, they really bunkered down and just carried it all the way to the end. And 
we saw our first use of the outlaw here yeah. in these playoffs. It was very strong in the few rounds that we saw. Just really that anti-light armor gun. Yeah, it was definitely interesting. Uh, didn't expect to see it, but we saw it on a Yoru, which is not something we expected to see. Inkston made it work there on the defense of Saints. I take a very swift victory, and they're going to be moving on to the winner's finals i believe i believe so yeah the winners finals it is still double elim so they still have basically an extra life to spare but they definitely don't want to be losing that one as they put themselves in prime position to take down this tournament exactly it's only going to get harder from here on out but they've been playing amazing so far so we'll i'm excited to see the games that we're going to have as we get further and further into this tournament and hey maybe we'll even see academy versus maybe. varsity if they make it that far maybe. together i mean we've seen it before <laughs> maybe so. we'll see it again maybe we'll, we'll see, see it again but it's been an amazing day of valorant and we can't wait to have more Thank you very much for joining me here, Theo. Thank you, everybody in the back, for holding this whole thing down. That's going to be Amanda, Karen, and Phil making everything go and work there in the back. And thank you to our sponsors as well. HyperX, Tim Morton, Subway, St. Clair SRC, and the St. Clair College Alumni Association. And then we also have to shout out our Social socials. Media. Yeah, you got to <laughs> keep up to date on everything. We have Twitter, X, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. Anything you could think of, we have social media for it. We <laughs> post there daily. Keep up to date on everything and anything Saints related. But once again, thank you, viewers, for watching. And join us again, not tomorrow, because it's family. Enjoy your family day, everybody. But join us on Tuesday. I believe that's going to be starting at 7. 7 p.m. It's going to be a little bit of a game day. We're going to have Overwatch 2 Varsity, and we're also going to have Call of Duty. It's been an amazing time. We'll see you then, everybody. Thank you very, very much for watching, and goodbye.